but this isn't one of them. Are you serious? Einstein was interested in it earlier. Oh, yeah. Let's give Einstein some empty chloroform bottle. I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Okay. I don't know if Einstein's there for a reason or not. Police car, Officer Parker. Hey, Danny. Sorry, pal. Can't talk right now. I've got a report to write up for the chief. Yeah, that's the only reason he's ever here. Can I use your police nice car? Ride. So I don't think I can actually make it out of this alleyway. They have it blocked off pretty well. Okay, but the question is, what? What can Einstein use? Oh, what's this? A flask. Irving Kid Tannen. I guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Figures. The one time Marty wanted to drink some alcohol, and it's empty. But what if... Use the flask on the it's barrels. Empty, so what's the point? Okay, maybe I can't. What if I just use the barrels? Parker must have confiscated. Nope. Okay. Now, Einstein, listen up. Hey, Einie, get your nose over here. All right. I really don't think Tannen and Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. They emptied okay, all the yeah, hooch. Those feet. Yeah, exactly. You stole the words out of my mouth. A button. Okay, what do I do with All buttons? Right, Here I come. Corleone? What are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. I knew she was the arsonist. Caught a plant dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there. Really? Watch out. That's Marty's trick. That's the oldest trick in the book. Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Let me guess, you don't have a good shot on him? Okay. If I have any items I can use. Can I possibly throw this? I want to break the no. Flask, dead, not gonna be able to use that. There's a gap. Trash cans. He's not mm -hmm. about to let me in. Hmm. So we'll just bob and weave here. Of course not. I still think I need to throw that empty chloroform bottle at his head. Just break it over his face. Hmm. Well, I can't move the camera. Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Make like a tree and die. Okay. No one messes with Kid Tannen. Whoa. Yeah, just put the leaky barrel in your pocket, okay? Hey, kid, eat lead, phony. Come on, kid. You know how this will end. Hey, I thought stormtroopers were actually good shots. The theory I read is that they were only missing, like, Luke and his team because they were supposed to escape. They were ordered to let them escape so they could track them back to their base. Hey, Mora! More on this! Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Parker actually... Hang on a second. Parker actually fired back. Oh. I thought he would have. I thought Parker would have him distracted. So. Manning's hooch is leaking all over the place. I better be careful with this stuff. <clears throat> if I can turn it into rocket fuel. Who knows what'll happen if it gets into that dynamite? Okay. Perfect timing. Where the hell did she come from, though? I 
could do this all night, Parker. He's not about to let me in. He's got a 500 round bullet drum on there. Hey, kid, eat lead, phony. Edna, are you gonna do anything? I can't talk to her yet. Wait, Make it easy. there we go. Hey, Edna. Shouldn't have done that. Did she just get shot? <laughs> I just got Edna killed by yelling at her. That's great. Hey, kid, eat lead, phony. Okay, maybe I just keep distracting him and then Edna comes out. Hey, moron. Moron, this. There we go. Go, Tannen. Make like a tree and die, rat. I love how this is the game mechanic. Add a girl. Yeah, add a girl. Get, get yourself in the line of fire. Hmm. What if? Good idea, but that angle is. Okay. Come on, kid. You know how this will end. Yes. Maybe throw this up there. Bowling for ten. Now, hooch trail. Trail of explosion. Oh, yeah. I wonder what I could use on that. Once again. Hey, kid. It's a good thing we got this at the beginning. That ain't a real gun. Oh, right. Forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh crap. <coughs> yeah, he's getting away. And of course he gets away. She sounded really worried about that. Oh no. He's getting away. Yeah. No. There. Good as new. No. Oh look, Hannon, the judge's son. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! <clears throat> Emmett. Good job, Doc. You're the cause of all of this. Not action. such a good job. Should have known. What kind of gangster? Okay. Um. So this is kind of like the dodging thing at the very beginning. Of the game, and we had him hit the bug zapper, I guess. No one makes a fool out of me, you backstabbing twerp. Well, crap. Around and around we go. Do I have to do it right whenever he's thrusting at me, or what? Got any last words, rat? None that you'd understand. Hmm. Okay, definitely not the right time. Nope, not gonna be able to get it from here for sure. Get ready to be tannonized. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't actually want to dodge around that way. Tannonized? Did he really just say that? Hey. There we go. Doc, hit it. Please land in a manure truck. Yes. Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion. Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, <laughs> you bastard! What? 
I didn't... Trixie? Artie? Ah, oh, gross. I don't want to watch my grandparents oh, kiss. Or maybe Marty does. Or I don't know. Are. Whatever he's into. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out of control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einy. Let's go find Doc. Yeah, in episode three, we have to break Edna and Doc up. That way the tr train family doesn't Let disappear. Let me Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. <laughs> And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Gross. Oh, oats. Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna. They're going to go see Frankenstein together. Great Scott. That's odd. Great Scott. What? Oh, man. Welp. What have we done? Marty, you had one job. Where'd you go, Doc? Wow. Welcome to Hill Valley. Next time on Back to the Future, the game, episode three. We've got to go back in time and break up the old people from fucking... Martin McFly, age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline have landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Zero demerits <laughs> till this morning. We were through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, what happened to you? Citizen Brown, coming tonight at midnight. Okay, well, I guarantee you that this song right here is a content ID match and more bad things, so. You know, the game, not really hard. Not a whole lot of gameplay, but I do like the story. I'm having fun going through and seeing what else, what, what happens to Doc and Marty after the third movie. It's written better than I thought it would be. There are three episodes after this one. If I had to guess, each one is going to be dealing with um, fixing our fuck-ups 
throughout the time stream continuum. If you use the content ID remover, does it remove your voice too? Or does it somehow magically just um, remove the song? I, <laughs> To be honest, I wasn't expecting these to be nearly as good as they are. They feel kind of like the movie. I mean, bits and pieces here and there feel like you're watching a continuation of the movie series. Eh, some pieces, not so much. But overall, still better than I, I had anticipated. And I can't help but have some ex expectations of this game since I heard so much about it at least four years ago before it came out. Hmm. Yeah, see, I figured that removing the audio track, like the copyright content ID remover, would remove the entire audio from that.